Worse than poorly painted eyes, bad blends, or a sea of gray, the most common way to ruin your hobby? Suffering from hobby frustration. If you're like me, sometimes frustration outweighs your love for the hobby. When that happens, here are five hacks I use to find joy in miniature painting. This week's video is sponsored by Ravage Star Armies of the Veil Touched. 1. Paint stuff you like. Sometimes working as a YouTuber and commission painter leaves me working on projects I would prefer to skip. But it is important for my own sanity to have projects I like to work on off to the side. Assuming you aren't doing this for a job, fun should be a key element to your painting experience. If you aren't enjoying what you are painting, why bother? If you are feeling frustrated, take a moment and look at your current projects. Are you having fun? If not, why not? Maybe NMM isn't your thing, or the eyes are giving you trouble. Put the model aside and consider your options. Paint over it, strip it, come back to it later, or just scrap it. Do whatever is going to make you happiest. If you're going to find enjoyment in the game you're going to play after you've completed painting them, then you might just have to suck it up. But if the mini itself is supposed to be fun and it isn't, then it sounds like you need a new project. 2. Compare against yourself, not others. This is a common one that is easier said than done. Comparing yourself to other artists is a natural and inevitable part of being an artist, especially if you're an artist on Instagram. And comparison is okay in moderation. The far better comparison is to compare against yourself. Now, it can be easy to feel like you aren't improving. Dude. Even if getting better isn't the goal of you painting, it's still a really nice reward after all of the hours you spend in this hobby. But just because you can't see improvement right now doesn't mean you aren't getting better. Instead of comparing your work day by day, compare this model to your old work, work from months ago or even years ago. A great way to compare is to repaint old miniatures. Here I am taking direct inspiration from the first model I ever attempted non-metallic metal on. I'm duplicating everything as closely as I can. Black-ish non-metallic metal, red and purple fabric, tan skin, and a golden halo. I also recommend keeping a few of your older models on your desk while you're working. I keep a particularly awful model on the shelf of my workstation as it always brightens my day to remember I was once so proud of this miniature. It has been a very interesting experience as I didn't realize just how much I have improved. But no matter what, focus on the fun that you are having while painting. 3. Take a break. If you are bored, frustrated, or burnt out, then take a break. Which is something I am terrible at and definitely need to work on. <laughs> Grab a snack, take a walk, pet the cat, whatever you need to reset. But of course, petting the cats is the best option. But longer breaks are okay too. Go to the park, visit family, whatever. If social media is what is getting you down, take a break from that too. Social media can fill you with self-doubt. Pause and take a step back. You can always come back to this work later, be that tomorrow or a month from now. Take the breaks you need to keep painting fun. Remember that this is not a job for you and forcing yourself to paint when you don't want to is just going to make the entire act of painting feel even worse. Four, experiment. If you are tired of your miniatures, it might be because you are bored of painting the models you've been working on, or maybe of your own painting style. Try experimenting with different styles of models. For example, if you're usually painting 28mm, try a bust or 75mm. Or you can try a different style of painting, perhaps grim dark or pastel. Or maybe just a new technique, maybe give oil paints a go. If you see something cool you like on Instagram, try painting in that style. I'm painting this armor in a more greenish tone compared to my previous version, because I thought the green would be a lot more interesting. This color choice was inspired by Craftworld Studios, who are some of my favorite painters. Now that I have embraced using far more interesting colors, I have found a lot more joy in miniature painting. The best thing is, if you don't like it, you can always change it. You are in control of how your art looks, and you can develop your style to suit your tastes. Let's talk about this week's sponsor, Ravage Star. 
Ravage Star is a new line of highly detailed 32mm sci-fi miniatures you can use in your favorite tabletop game. Ravage Star just finished their first successful campaign on GameFound for their first faction, the Veil Touched. The Veil Touched is a faction of corrupted soldiers hell-bent on destroying any and every planet within their reach, which sounds pretty chaotic to me. This faction includes more than 130 gorgeous models to be produced with high-quality PVC. With so many models to choose from, you are sure to find everything you need. Cultists, marines, monsters, and my favorite part, a lot of badass women. Whether you're looking for proxies for your game or gorgeous models for your showcase, you can still back this campaign on GameFound following the link in my description box. Thank you Ravish Star for sponsoring this video, back to painting. 4. Show friends and family, preferably in person. The people in your life are there to support you, and you frequently are your harshest critic. It's important to feel upbeat and hopeful about your hobby. Showing your art to other people can give you a different point of view, and if nothing else, your friends and family will probably be wowed by your attention to detail, ability to hold your hand steady enough to paint, and commend you on your patience. Seriously, show your work to people outside the field and they will probably be impressed. And those kind words can serve as the springboard to get you back into having fun in miniature painting. But no matter what, there is nothing wrong with prefacing that you need some cheering up when you're down. Shoshi, hype me up. A quick disclaimer. I can't make you fall back in love with miniature painting. That is something that has to come from inside. No matter your skill level, whether you're painting for painting or for the gaming table, your enjoyment of miniature painting has to come from the inside. These tips are not an instant fix, but over time they should help you feel better about your hobby. It's important to enjoy the process of miniature painting, and I hope this video is only the first step with you falling back in love with this hobby. Alright, that's it from me. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, go support me over on Patreon, keep painting, and have a wonderful day.